questionably questionable looking, I'm gonna be honest, but I think it's fine. Egg. Look, it's got, hold on, let me, that part's burnt. Let me get to the pretty side, hold on, hold on. It's gonna fall off, that's gonna be so embarrassing if it just slips off. Egg. No! <laughs> I'm done. something of the burning bridge which is you know it's good so far i'm enjoying it really fun little like adventure moment i kind of forgot what the point of their adventure was <laughs> but I bro like to characters. recruit help from the celts for the war that's what the point was sure <laughs> you just started reading it today I know, but like, I kind of was zoning out in the very beginning, so I forgot. Okay, let me let me, you, let me give you let me give you recap then. All right, let me give you recap. All right. So, Halt and Will are chilling at their cabin, right? And Dylan, you know, knocks on the door. Halt's like, "Bro, what are you doing?" Can I ask you one question? Yes. How many times have you read this book? <laughs> um, irrelevant. Literally knows the plot better than I do. And I read this like five minutes ago, and I, I got nothing. I love it. Anyway, so there's your recap. Did that help? <laughs> yes. I feel very informed now of, you know, something I should have already known, but thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god, I never started my vlog, like, discussing that I'm doing a recap. <laughs> Hello, is this in focus? Are you in focus? Yes? All right. <laughs> Welcome to a 24 hour readathon with Katie. <laughs> Not physically. Hi. Just on my phone. We're gonna be on a call I all day. Physically. Me too. It is the 28th and I have read three books. So I plan to read like five, hopefully today. Five would be ideal. I'm already halfway through the Spanish Love Deception and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving the banter, the enemies to lovers, the fake dating trope. Literally, this book was written for me. All the tropes that I love are in this. Yes, that's all that needs to be said right there. Aaron Blackford, ugh, that man. Men written by women are superior. I, you feel, it feels like a little robot that I'm like controlling. I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with like holding you up. <laughs> Like a little puppet master. <laughs> There's the introduction that I forgot to do. So welcome to yet another chaotic cast reading vlog. That should be my brand now. Chaotic cast reading vlog. Or just like chaotic cast. Because none of my vlogs ever make sense. It is currently 3.40. Ew, stop looking at me. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna have to vlog like this. We can fix that. Are you gonna mute it? <laughs> How dare you! So I just finished the Spanish Love Deception. Um, very good, very good. Um, I really adored their relationship and the development and just everything that went down. What is happening? I turned off the camera so I couldn't hear her volume. I mean, you still can't hear me, so. See, I can't hear her. Exactly. <laughs> audacity the audacity i think she can hear me i know she can hear me so love not love hypothesis gosh dang she called it the love hypothesis earlier and so now it's messing with me the spanish love deception very good i am probably gonna no this definitely is a five out of five stars i have myself muted and katie is salty <laughs> about that so it's a fun time annoying katie it's 
So, book. Good. Good shit. Now I'm just pretending to talk about this for I look smart while Katie records me vlogging myself, looking like an absolute fool. So little does she know I'm not actually talking about the plot of the book, but I'm making myself look like I'm talking about the plot of the book. And so it's a fun time. Um, I did really like it though. I would give it five stars. I am giving it five stars. What? Now there is one particular line that I was freaking the absolute flip out over um, because it was so utterly stupid. It made the dumb line in the love hypothesis like look like a good writing. So just the one sentence on page, I think we said 367. On page 367 is just <laughs> not the vibe, but I really did enjoy the entire beginning and their relationship growing and just their entire time in Spain was so precious. series and I want to know. Uh, I just said that I like it. I haven't I didn't talk to you in depth about it yet. Probably do that after yet. I did show them my, uh, my Kindle and this beautiful stickers that I put on the back of it. Oh my god, are you promoting my shop again? <laughs> I found land, not lake. I'll let it slide. Sorry, proceed. So deep in reading. So deep in focus. Out of focus on my camera, but deep in focus. <laughs> That's gonna be our new thing now, isn't it? I'm gonna go like this and you're gonna go like this. All right, I have left the coffee shop to embark onto a new journey, which is Half Rice, which I am currently at because I forgot to vlog before I left, as one does. I got about 100, not about 100, literally 150 pages into Better Than The Movies, which felt a little bit like a downgrade after reading, what was the book I just read? The Masterpiece. The Masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish love deception because that was like an adult romance this is a high school romance and it's cutesy and stuff but then it's also like a high school romance however I really do like Wes against my better judgment and I like the chemistry between them because I know they're just friends and Wes is like trying to set her up with Michael who's like the dream guy for main character whose name I cannot remember Elizabeth, but what do people, Liz. Okay, it is Elizabeth. Currently she's being a really shitty friend to Jocelyn, which is not the vibe, because I have a friend named Jocelyn and I wouldn't be a shitty friend to her. So, it's not the vibe. But I get her reasons of why, sort of. But it's still shitty friend moves. But anyway, I want her to end up with Wes, not Michael. Katie was talking about how she can't remember a standalone love triangle she's read. Isn't that right, Katie? That is a factual statement. <laughs> so it's not like a love triangle, love triangle, though. It's like, I don't know, the guy is trying to set her up with a different guy, but then everyone thinks that the guy that's trying to set her up with a different guy is the one that she likes, and then that he likes her, and so it's like a whole complicated thing. It's a complicated, it's complicated, okay? You know how high school is, okay? And I'll be all complicated. But I'm going to actually go into half price now. I don't know why I was talking to you. I'm talking to the vlog, okay? Irrelevant. <laughs> Sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Sit down, Katie. Um, I am I'm going to. <laughs> I'm sad. Sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go into half price now. Okay. <laughs>
went to a second half price books. There's only, they're only 15 minutes apart. I don't think I showed what books I got from the first half price because I only got one book and it was To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. Um, this is referenced in the movie Nerve and I loved that movie and so I wanted to pick it up because I like the concept of it or at least the concept she kind of gives in the movie. And then I picked up Ranger's Apprentice, Halt's Peril in the new cover, book nine, because I don't think I have this one. I should have checked. I think it's fine. Um, <laughs> I already own this book, but I like you know, both versions, you know, as a book collector, <laughs> it's fine anyway. And then I wasn't going to buy this series because I almost unhauled the third book that I owned, which was Bringsger, and that's the Inheritance series. I own the third one in like really good quality. I think I bought it used. But then as I walk into the half price, there's just Eldest and Inheritance just chilling in with really good quality. And there's someone kind of looking at me. And they were really good quality and I was reading the series and talking about how I wanted to annotate it, but I couldn't because I had it from the library. So we've got the second and the fourth book and I own the third book, so I'm set. This one has like a little bit of a rip, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. And the texture of them are nice, which is a weird thing to comment on, but they're a nice texture. Texture is essential. Let me tell you people, when I see a nice feeling book, I just get it. Where am I going with this? <laughs> this is what you're getting bad lighting I went to Rio Mambo and I read a little bit more well I was eating alone and being called a cherry and a raspberry Katie is still on the call with me hey hey <laughs> all right I'm putting you aside anyway <laughs> I still love you I don't you. want to be forgotten um, I'm on page 202. I still like Wes more than Michael, and I think that's where it's leading towards. It's kind of hard to tell. I only have 100 pages left in this book, so I'm planning on plowing through this. And honestly, the Spanish love deception kind of fucked me over in terms of quality, and I like immediately went into a romance book slump. Cause I was like, nothing can match this. But this one's pretty good, I am enjoying it. But it was super hyped up, so I went in with very high expectations. And it's just not as high of expectations. I should have set my expectations lower. What am I saying? Books? Books. I'm gonna continue reading, I don't know. Why do I vlog, Katie? <laughs> You're so good at this. I'm just, stop it. Oh my God. And I keep forgetting to turn off my camera too. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I guess I should clarify to my vlog what's happening. Katie's about to read me the first chapter of Icebound Land, Ranger's Apprentice Book 3, if we're being precise. Um, because I made a joke earlier in the car. I'm so excited. <laughs> the floor is yours. Penguin Random House Audio something presents The Icebound Land by John Flanagan. Book 3 of the Ranger's Apprentice series. Narrated, narrated by Katie is reading. <laughs> oh, right, right. Narrated by Katie is reading. To pet. Why am I, like, nervous now? <laughs> the wolf ship was only a few hours from Cape Shelter when the massive storm hit them. For several minutes, he assessed speeds and distances, judging their progress against that of the onrushing clouds. We're not gonna make it. Sorry, proceed. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> We're not gonna make it, he said finally to Sven Gall. Let's head for Cape Shelter, he told his crew. Yay! Story time's over. <laughs> I loved it. I'm glad. I feel like I butchered that, but. There were some questionable parts, but you know, I think it was beautiful. I also was very entertained by that strand of hair that kept just falling in your face. <laughs> that strand of hair is pissing me off. I'm so glad. I can't wait for you to read the first chapter of Chain of Gold to me. Honestly, I'm excited too. 
I've just never hey. had Ranger's Apprentice read to me. I don't know. It was a nice experience. For how many Maybe times I've read it. Her stepmom, who she doesn't like, have like a decent relationship with. Like she's building the relationship now. But her stepmom goes, "Tell me everything, you sneaky little tart." And I think that's really cute. Little tart. That is cute. It's like, oh. So I finished better than the movies, and I think if I went into this with lower expectations, I would have absolutely adored it. I think it's more of a 4.5 than a 5, which sounds ridiculous um, because I feel like I complained a lot with this book, but I honestly did love it. I, I wasn't thrilled with the ending, but it made sense. There was like a lot of back and forth conflict and kind of miscommunication. And the miscommunication trope is just not really it for me. This is my last update looking like a strawberry because I'm starting to feel a little crusty and I really want a shower and to be in some comfy sweatpants. So I'm gonna go make that happen. And then I will return and I'm probably going to pick up The Hating Game. I've read a solid four pages and I don't know if I have the brain power to read this at this point because it is a little bit wordy, but we'll see. I wanna finish at least three books. Honestly, I don't know why I am always so ambitious with these readathons because I said I wanted to read five books. I read two. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I will briefly discuss them because I discussed them throughout the vlog. But to recap, The Spanish Love Deception, five stars. Aaron Blackford, I am an absolute hoe for. I absolutely love the banter, the dialogue, the enemies to lovers, the fake dating, the one bed trope. All my favorite tropes are like packaged in this book. This book was written for me, basically. I am still fairly new at annotating, so I still obsess over how tabs look, which is why I keep stroking the pages like a weirdo. And then the other book I picked up was Better Than the Movies, which I gave a 4.5. Um, I mostly gave it a 4.5 because it had too many pop culture references, too many references to movies and to music. Um, so it annoyed me, but it added to the charm. Liz, the main character, it makes sense for her to constantly be bringing these things up. But it didn't mean I had to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I really did love Wes, though. And I loved the friendship and the relationships that grew from this book. As for the hating game, I made it to page 46. And honestly... I'm not really enjoying it. I don't really like the writing. And I think the, the games that they're playing at a corporate work job are childish, which is okay, but not. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. I'm not that far into it, so it's hard for me to give a full review. But on page 46, the hating game I'm playing is hating on this book. <laughs> so there's that. Now let me call Katie for Katie Can Say Bye too. She actually ended her vlog in the morning. It is 2.30 in the afternoon for me. Um, she declined. How rude. I guess Katie doesn't want to be part of I'm so sad. Okay, just kidding. It's just my internet. <laughs> you can say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, review. Give a recap for your... For your Readathon. How did how did it go for you? Well, I think it was pretty good. I think yeah? I read like over 100 pages, so that was decent. Okay, okay. How many pages did you read? Um, I I didn't even do the math. Hold, please. Um, I read about 835 pages. Not bad. Not bad. But you also made it one paragraph into the Icebound Land, so or one paragraph, one one chapter. That's true, like a whole 10 pages. So I consider it very successful because you read a Ranged Apprentice book, so I'm not going to really complain. Oh, yeah. Now, guess what? You have to read... Chain of Gold. <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming. Stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned. <laughs>
All right, but that is it. Make sure you subscribe to Katie because she's an absolute badass. And subscribe to me if you feel like it. Not as badass as... I just like Katie no to my outro. I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> You're being threatened. Anyways, um, <laughs> I really hope to see you in the next one. Toodles. 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 <laughs> oh, you did my little toodles you thing. Got I, got, I usually do it with my right arm. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs>